Hey, welcome back to Bigfoot Ultra Running. This is Brad. It's Sunday morning and we're at Anstey Hill. Gonna get a trail run in today. So in my little rest period since the high sun, I've been thinking what can I do to, to get some more out of the body and, and to get some more improvement. I'm definitely gonna keep the, um, the idea of sort of plateauing rather than constantly boosting the mileage. That worked really well last year. But some untapped areas of potential are some strength training so I'm going to include at least three sessions of strength training and I'm yet to plan exactly how that looks but definitely some strength training and uh, more focus on flexibility as well so continuing with the running adding a lot more strength and flexibility core strength be pretty simple as far as the strength training goes I've got some dumbbells at home I've got a barbell that I can load up a bit if I want as well so yeah I'm going to try and find some simple ways just to uh, get some improvement in those areas. Next Sunday I've got my first of five of the um, Adelaide Trail Runner Summer Series. So I won't be anywhere near peak fitness for that, but I'm just hoping to get a little bit of base fitness back between now and then. So yeah, it's Sunday. So the aim today is to sort of not go too easy, because this is the run that uh, may add a little bit of that base fitness where I don't want to do too much towards the end of the week close to the race I'd hate to say but yeah, I'm just doing it as a training run <laughs> now this Sunday I kind of just want to get into it get amongst the community a bit more explore some different trails Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's towards the end of spring, not long until summer, and we're predicting a hot one. Everything's dried out pretty quickly, despite having a fairly wet winter. So yeah, it might be a pretty hot summer. We'll see. Still a great time to be out here. Another thing I want to add to my training program is one faster session each week. Even if it's pretty short, to begin with at least. But yeah, a session where I focus on speed, anaerobic sort of endurance. Um, bit of a VO2 max session, which I'll uh, either do on the flat, maybe on an oval somewhere or something like that, or it could be a hill session where I do sort of sprint hill repeats. So yeah, just one of those a week. I've kind of fallen into the trap with my training where most of my runs are the same kind of run, kind of zone two, maybe zone three. So yeah, just slowly changing the program to rather than just what I enjoy to something a bit more, a um, bit more optimal. Because I am turning 42 in February and I still want to squeeze out as much improvement as I can just for the fun of it basically I kind of enjoy that side of it without taking the fun away though because yeah, it is nice just getting out so yeah, that's the plan anyway a couple of strength sessions a week keep the running going as I've been doing last year, this year 
plateauing instead of constantly ramping. A bit more focus on flexibility and one faster VO2 max session a week. So yeah, I'll, I'll write that up and uh, we'll talk about it more in a future vid, but yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking about at the moment anyway. So yeah, beautiful day. I purposely only brought one battery for the GoPro today. So when it runs out, it runs out. Surprised no one's down there swimming today. There is a fairly big event on in Adelaide this weekend. Adelaide 500, V8 supercar race. Got Robbie Williams performing, I think he's, I think he's playing tonight. Not really my thing, but yeah, there'll be a lot of people there today. I used to get into it more when it was Ford versus Holden back in the old days. When we used to make our own cars here and it was like a cool rivalry. You always look forward to the next Ford or the next Holden coming out every five years or so as a kid. Just to see how the shape changed and they'd race against each other. Still a good sport, but yeah, kind of tuned out once that phase ended. Be a nice day for it today though. So I'll do a bit of a house update while I'm here. And there's the house. The quarry down there. And yeah, nestled up in there. There's the house. Nice spot. The house over there that we're bidding on. We're pretty much, well we went yesterday for another open inspection. Didn't want to bring the camera. But yeah, we were there yesterday, saw the real estate agent. He wants a bit more still. Um, but we're still in sort of the one of the best positions anyway. There's one bid that's slightly higher than ours, but they want it subject to the sale of their home and they want 80 days for settlement where we've said three weeks with no other conditions apart from building and pest inspection, which is pretty standard. Um, he had a look at the termite damage in the corner and even though it was clearly termite damage with the tracks and the, and the timber and everything, he uh, tried to sort of palm it off as a wood, um, wood rot and, I, oh, and the reason why the alfoil was there is because they were too lazy to do anything else. I just let him sort of talk for a bit but yeah it's pretty obvious what it is and any pest inspection will show that. So that's kind of in our favour anyway. Um, it's probably something we were going to have to tear up anyway but yeah that might help a little bit. So he's going to speak to the owners who live in Canberra which makes it a bit tricky for them. I'm not sure if they know the actual condition of the place that well. But yeah, he's talking to them, trying to find their bottom line. He still thinks our bid isn't really going to be cutting it, but I think that's as much as we're willing to spend. So we're going to hold out, see what happens. Um, and it'll be up to them whether they want to go for a little tiny bit more and then have conditions that could flop on them or whether they want to rent it out again and... And then even to rent it out, they're going to have to make some improvements and, and repair some things. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I think we're in a pretty good position. So, you never know. Running from there down here could be part of my morning dog walk, my morning run. There will definitely be things we miss about our old house. So, yeah, either way, we'll be happy. But um, I think uh, if you can't decide, you end up regretting the things you don't do more than the things you do. And I do talk about adventures quite a bit, so yeah, if we're all up for the adventure, then it should be fun, something different. And we can always move back. I'm pretty sure it'll hold its value, so we'll see what happens. We're kind of letting fate decide a little bit with our current offer. So yeah. All right, I want to close it out there. This is Brad, Bigfoot Running. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm gonna say it now, I'm back into the training. I have got a race, a race next weekend. I won't be really racing it. But yeah, so uh, my off season, if you wanna call it that, a few weeks after the Heisen, over now. And we're gonna start easing back into it, trying to get some uh, performance back into the legs. So yeah, this is Bigfoot Ultra Running. Brad, signing out. See you next time.